Stockwell High School, Tahoe Tigers, uh, Coach Brad Gilbert, and we have uh, linebacker, fullback, Bear Frank. We have uh, Colton Wright, Mason McGee, and Cole Wilkie. And uh, this is a 5A. Coach, we'll start with you. Um, Coach Gilbert, last uh, season, what exactly the season you expected? One and nine. Uh, we chatted a little earlier and you said, um, which I think most people know and understand, uh, you just had an abundance amount of injuries and some bad luck. Uh, but in retrospect, some people maybe got some season playing time maybe didn't get to or wouldn't, wouldn't have got to. What's your uh, expectations on that? Uh, the expectations for this upcoming season is, uh, you know, our goal as a team and uh, our program is, is to be a, be a playoff team, class by the way. Uh, you know, you mentioned last year it was rough. We lost. We lost quite a few players as the year continued to, to move forward, but uh, the experience gained because of those injuries by other players um, will, will be uh, nothing but benefit, beneficial for our football program this year. I know that um, uh, we will not start one sophomore this year. We return uh, 18 guys that at some point in time started a game for us last year. So we're extremely excited about the experience gained um, from last year, last season, and, and the experience is coming coming back this upcoming season. Um, coach, also, who are um, who are you looking to? I mean, obviously, you have four players with you to, uh, this afternoon. Um, who are you looking to be leaders for this year's season and to step up and, and show the, the uh, some of the younger kids what what Tiger football means? Uh, you know, as just a group, I think our seniors and a lot of our juniors have done that already. Um, I'm, I'm excited about their leadership and what they've shown. But just, just out on the field on Friday nights, uh, we got to replace Mason McGee, who was the all-time single season rushing record holder. And, and mm -hmm. Ma Mason McMillan, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, <laughs> you wish it was, yeah. But it's the all-time single, uh, single uh, rushing record holder in top football history. And we're looking to do that with a couple of guys. One right next to me, Colton Wright, and the other one would be Brandon Conrad. Uh, both are explosive guys. Uh, Brandon's more um, agile in space, has a lot of quickness to him, and Colton's more of a a powerful runner. So we're, we're looking for that from those two young men. We're looking for for someone to uh, step up and be take charge and, and be our quarterback for this year. I mean, that's a battle between David Dick and uh, Will Carlisle, uh, and just others. There's there's others, and I could go on and on. But uh, I think as a group, as a whole, I think our, our seniors and juniors have accepted that leadership role and, and um, have done exactly what we've asked them to do. Okay. Well, we'll segue right into Colton. Colton. Uh, being a senior, and you're going to step into the leadership role, carrying a, a load, uh, not only carrying the ball, but also on defense. But we'll start with offense. Offensively, uh, I mean, what do you look for the team to accomplish this year? Um, I just want to win. You know, um, being a senior this is my last go around, and uh, I don't know. I uh, did, I tore my ACL last year, so I didn't get to play, and I'm just really excited to come into the season, and I think our team's going to. Um, be really strong this year. We have a lot to look forward to. We've had a lot of intensity in the weight room, you know, and right now our off season's just exploded into, I think we're just gonna have a really, really good year, you know, ahead of us. And so, um, but carrying the ball, you know, um, I just, I, I think we'll, um, we'll, we have a really, really good line, really strong, and I think we'll be able to do a lot with our running game for sure. Uh, speaking about the injury, how is the injury? Is it you're fully recovered, 100% yeah. back? Yeah, I'm stronger than I was before. Yeah, very good. Uh, defensively, linebacker. Um, now, I know uh, that's kind of a leadership role on defense. Is that something you're going to try to establish uh, as far as, you know, I'm, you know, not only my leader, but we're, we're going to play some defense. Uh, you bring it this year? Uh, well, I mean, I guess I, I guess I really wasn't asking you a question. I'm sorry. I guess. Are you looking to step up in the leadership role in the linebacker and for the defense to step up a little bit more? This oh, year? Absolutely. I think I think uh, through my intensity we'll be able to inspire the entire team on the offensive side of the ball and on defense. You know, um, I'm, I'm looking to be intensified, like intensify the entire team through what how I play football. You know. All right. Speaking, of, we're going to shift over to uh, Bear Frank now. Uh, Bear, you're gonna looks like you're gonna be leading maybe some holes open for these running backs and uh, at the fullback position. And uh, um, I guess uh, running the spread offense, you're gonna get a chance to maybe touch the ball outside the backfield a little bit. 
Now, what's your thoughts on uh, the offense this season? Oh, I'm really excited. We got a good run game, and I love blocking for both those guys. They're in good power for both of them. Very good. Now, uh, you're also going to be lined up linebacker, uh, also on defense. Defensively, what are you looking for for your uh, your teammates? Just intensity and flying the ball. Very good point. Coach, let's, uh, I want to go back to you on the, the talk about the defense, flying to the ball. Uh, and these, both these linebackers talk about intensity. Is that something you guys have worked on in the offseason to bring the intensity up a little bit more? It, it has. Uh, just throughout the entire program, we know that we've had to take steps in, in certain areas for this program to get to where we all wanted to be. Uh, to be. And, uh, and intensity is one of those things. It's just a, a constant effort and attitude in which the, the young men have. Uh, uh, being prepared mentally, uh, I think mental preparation is extremely important uh, to play this game. So, so that's something that we have at it. Uh, but also, uh, that comes along with, with a mature football team. And I, I believe that that's what we have with uh, the young men that have been with this program for the last couple of years and uh, seeing their development and their uh, maturity level over the uh, year or two. Uh, that, that will only increase, and, and and so I'm not, you know, I'm not too worried about the uh, the intensity in which they will have because I think that that will be there. Okay, we're going to shift to uh, Mason McGee. Mason, you're a center and a defensive tackle, and uh, uh, as a junior, um, you know, sometimes juniors don't get to be in a leadership role, but as a senior, you kind of get to be a, a leader as much as a quarterback, uh, leading these offensive linemen in this year going to a, a different running back and a, a you know different running game back there. What's your take on the offense? Uh, I think it's going to be real good. I'm one of the smallest offensive linemen, so that just means I have to work harder and put in the extra effort. But uh, we have a very strong offensive line. We, can, we have the tendency to go far. Uh, we are a great running offense. And with God, I mean, anything's possible. We just, we just have to hook up and give it all we got. Defensively, um, you know, we got the two linebackers sitting over here with you also. But defensively, um, what are your goals for the defense heading into this uh, season? Uh, we just, the uh, defensive line have to control the line. We just have to make sure they don't get to the linebackers, let them make the play. Um, we just, I'm not really defensive guy very much, but I just feel like when I need to, and I just hope that the defense can stop them. Um, just on a side note, one of my probably favorite quotes is going to be uh, Mason put on that uh, he's a nice guy off the field, but he's mean on the field, and that's, uh, that's what you need out of an offensive lineman right there. All right, we're going to shift over to Cole. Uh, Cole Wilkie, and right guard, defense tackle, also a junior. Uh, Cole, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Mason. You've got, uh, you know, a little bit different running game this year as far as the skill, uh, um, the different type of runner back in the backfield. What's your projection and uh, what's your feelings for the offense this year? Um, my feelings for the offense, I think it's just the same as Coach and Colton both touched on. We need to be intense and we're just going to have to come off the ball and strike people, you know, and give these guys running lines so that we can win some games. Defensively, um, how are you looking to, uh, you know, match up this season? I mean, uh, want to make a, uh, I guess, uh, and bring the intensity to the defense and shake up some of the offenses, uh, uh, often, I'm sorry, the offensive players on the other teams a little bit, right? Yeah, basically, just we, just like I said on offense, you just got to come off and just strike them, light them up, and let the guys in the back make the plays, you know? Okay, how are you, uh, um, I'll ask uh, going back down the line, Cole, you're, uh, the experience that the team brings back this season. What is your, uh, what's your feeling coming into the fall? I'm feeling that um, with the experience and everything, I think that we can, we can for sure be a playoff team. We can do what we set out on the off season to be and just make playoffs. That's what we want to do. All right, coach. Um, we're close on time, so I'm going to touch on this quickly. Um, I'm going to lead off a, or a segue off of what Cole just said. Is uh, uh, going in. You're, you want to be a playoff team. And you said in some of your notes that you need to change the mentality to change this team to a winner. Uh, we spoke briefly before we came up here, and you said the numbers have steadily not only increased, but you know over the last two years exponentially increased on kids coming out showing interest in football. Um, do you see the change in the locker room? Do you see the change in the school? Uh, I do see the change in the school and in the locker room. And in the locker room is the most important thing. We tell those 
tell our, our players that, that that's what matters. The, the men that are in that locker room, that's what matters. But, but I have. I've seen a steady increase, just the excitement level. Uh, I think it's a, it says a lot about these young men going out recruiting and, and exemplifying what we want in a football program. And I think that's, um, uh, that's attractive to a lot of people. Uh, they, uh, they are exactly what we want in a program. They exemplify what we want. And, and I think uh, kids want to be a part of that. So that has steadily increased our numbers. Um, and just the excitement around town. I, I really think that that has uh, also played a part in it. All right, guys. Uh, see what else we can go over here. Um, Coach also said this would be uh, the year, um, probably the first time in a long time there's no sophomore starting. This year you're going to have a very leadership-based uh, lineup. That's correct. There will, there will not be a sophomore starting for us, and, and I, I would say that's rare at any level, uh, but especially uh, in top ball. And, uh, you know, these young men continue to say that, that one of our goals is to be a playoff contender. It's, you know, it's been since 2001 since Talent has been in the playoffs, and uh, that's, that's been a long time. And, uh, and we know that that's important to have a mature, experienced football team. And when you can say that you're not going to start a sophomore, that says a lot about young men that are juniors and seniors. Um, not taking anything away from the sophomore. We have a lot of experience coming back and a lot of leadership. And, uh, and that's going to hopefully uh, pay dividends in, and I think it'll It'll be this great. Which I was going to lead into my next question. You basically answered was a good chemistry team. Um, I mean, these kids, you've got a lot of juniors and seniors. You obviously have a, good, a lot of good chemistry. I can tell with these four young men, just talk with them briefly of the chemistry. Um, now, some of your worries were a lack, lack of depth, but um, hopefully, if you keep the 60 players that did come out in the spring ball, uh, hopefully that will help itself out right there. I, I agree. Depth, depth is extremely important anytime you're trying to build a program. Uh, but as you move throughout the course of the year, the injuries are going to occur, and you got to have quality depth. But I, I think the way that we're doing practice now, and allowing, dividing up our groups, it allows the younger players to get a lot more repetition, so that they can uh, prepare themselves and, and be in a position to uh, be counted on when that time comes. And uh, you know, what we tell our players, or that's one thing that we'll say a lot: is you're one play away, and that means that uh, you know, you're, if you're a backup. You're just one play away from being being in that starting position, so you got to always be ready and be focused to, to and, and know your assignment, your role, and uh, and when your time is called, or comes, you got to know you got to know what's expected of you. Never know when that phone call is going to come. That, that's exactly you right. That I, I remember being told that as a sophomore and play away, and I had no idea what that meant <laughs> uh, by my head football coach, but I, I soon found out uh, very, very quickly, and um, and so that's uh, that's important for them to understand that. Very good. Okay, I think we're uh, we are out of time. But any uh, last uh, words? I'm sorry. Any, any last uh, comments or anything? This this will be on the website. And you guys have any last feelings of the season coming up? Just wish us luck. Wish yeah. you luck. Injury free season. And uh, gentlemen, I hope you guys have a great 2013 season.